Hi, welcome to Danny After Dark. If you're new here, make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss a notification or a new episode. Tonight, I'll be featuring the case of Diane Zamora and David Graham. Let's go ahead and find out more. Let's go ahead and dive on in. Diane Michelle Zamora was born on January 21st, 1978. She was the oldest child of an electrician and nurse. The family was very religious. Diane was known to have kept to herself and devoted herself to her studies. She was a member of the National Honor Society and belonged to several clubs at her high school, which was Crowley High School. David Graham, he was the youngest of four children. His parents were both former teachers, so it's not really that surprising. David excelled in academics. He also ran on the Mansfield High School track team and was a battalion commander in his high school's junior ROTC program. David's friends and neighbors in Mansfield, Texas described him as, quote, the perfect gentleman, end quote, who would always say, quote, yes, sir, no, sir, end quote, when he addressed people. Diane and David met and began dating in August, 1995. Just about a month later, they announced to each of their families they were engaged and planning to get married. The plan was to get married in the year 2000, shortly after their scheduled graduations from their respective academies. Now, December 1st, 1995, Diane received a confession from David. According to David, a few weeks prior, November 4th, 1995, he had sex with a sophomore Mansfield High School track teammate named Adrian Jones. David stated he drove her home after a track meet in Lubbock, Texas. They parked behind an elementary school and they then had sex. Upon hearing this, Diane became enraged and allegedly demanded that David make the situation right and prove his love for her. To prove his love, he had to kill Adrian. Adrian, who was nicknamed AJ, was a popular sophomore at Mansfield High School. Adrian studied hard in school. She was also very outgoing. Her teachers and classmates remember her as having great school spirit. When Adrian met David, it was on the Mansfield cross country track team. The two of them had instantly become friends. December 4th, 1995 is when David and Diane decided to carry out their plan. Around 10.30 PM that night, David called Adrian to arrange a date. Adrian snuck out of her house to meet up with David, who picked her up outside. David then drove them to a deserted road near Grand Prairie, Texas. What Adrian didn't know was that Diane was hiding in the hatchback of the car the whole time. The original plan was that Diane would come up from behind and would snap Adrian's neck. David would then help Diane dump the body in a nearby lake. They had planned to tie weights to Adrian's body so that it would sink to the bottom of the lake and not be discovered. However, things didn't really go as planned. When Diane came up from behind and grabbed Adrian, a struggle ensued immediately. David tried to snap Adrian's neck by turning it as it's done in the movies, but he found that didn't work. So Diane then hit Adrian in the head with a weight, but Adrian somehow managed to get out of David's car and started to run away. According to David's confession, Diane told him 
He could not let Adrian get away. So David, who had brought a gun, took it out of the truck with him and shot Adrian down in the field twice in the head. When he returned to the car, Diane and him exchanged, I love yous. They then disposed of their bloody clothes and went home. Adrian Jones's body was discovered the next day. The investigation tried to determine who would have done this to Adrian Jones, but they hit a dead end and it went cold after nine months. Then investigators got a tip from one of Diane's Annapolis classmates. The informant stated Diane admitted to her that she and David murdered Adrian after David confessed to her that he cheated on her and had sex. Police searched David's car and found Adrian's blood splattered inside, also splattered inside the passenger door. Diane claimed that this was the first time Adrian was struck, struck outside of the car by David. The skull depressions in Adrian's head matched a strike in the head with a dumbbell, while police were able to later recover the murder weapon and several dumbbells from David's home. At the time of David's arrest for Adrian Jones's murder, he had just started service in the Air Force Academy in Colorado Springs, Colorado. First to go on trial was Diane Zamora. Her trial lasted two weeks and began in February 1998 in Fort Worth, Texas. It received national media attention. Under Texas law, murder is the intentional killing of another human being, while capital murder includes murder with an underlying felony, such as kidnapping, robbery, aggravated assault, arson, or obstruction. In this case, the prosecutor believed that Adrian was deceptively lured from her home by David by asking her out on a fictitious date. The couple committed obstruction when Diane allegedly ordered David to stalk Adrian out into the field and shoot her so that she could not tell the authorities. Prosecutors had several witnesses who stated Diane confessed to the killing and showed no remorse. Her Naval Academy roommate named Jennifer McCarney told jurors that Diane said Adrian was, quote, a tramp, end quote. College friend Jay Guild said that Diane told him she'd kill Adrian again if she could. Diane responded to this by telling the jury that the prosecution witnesses were either lying or they misunderstood her. February 17, 1998, after over six hours of deliberations that spanned over two days, a Texas jury found Diane Zamora guilty of capital murder in the death of Adrian Jones. The Jones family requested that prosecutors not seek the death penalty against Diane. So she received a mandatory sentence of life in prison. July 24th, 1998, at a separate trial, a Texas jury found David Graham guilty of capital murder. He was also sentenced to life in prison. Diane is currently incarcerated by the Texas Department of Criminal Justice at the Mountain View Unit in Gainesville, Texas, while David is currently incarcerated at the Ellis Unit in Walker County, Texas. The parole eligibility date for both Diane and David is scheduled for September 5th, 2036. What makes this case have an interesting twist is law enforcement officials who were associated with the case 
such as the Grand Prairie Police Sergeant, Alan Paton, who took Diane's confession, stated that after his research and looking into the case, he stated the sexual encounter between David and Adrian did not actually happen. It was invented by David to provoke jealousy in Diane. Quote, for those who don't remember, this was a totally brutal, unnecessary murder. David had lied to Diane about an alleged sexual tryst that never happened with Adrian Jones. If he had said, I was just kidding, I was just trying to make you jealous, Adrian Jones would still be alive today, end quote. That quote was by Sergeant Alan Paton, the Grand Prairie Police Department. In June 2003, Diane married Stephen Mora, another inmate in a Texas prison. A judge in San Antonio performed the wedding ceremony. Diane's mother and a male friend stood in for the imprisoned couple in the county's first proxy marriage. They were divorced as of 2010. The case became a 1997 made for TV movie called Swearing Allegiance, Love's Deadly Triangle, The Texas Cadet Murder. The character of Diane Zamora was played by Holly Marie Combs. That is the case of Diane Zamora and David Graham. Thank you for sticking around for another episode of Danny After Dark. Do you have a question or comment on the case? We'll leave it down below. Let's be interactive. Do you have a suggestion for a case that you'd like me to cover? We'll leave it down below in the comments and you may see it featured in an upcoming episode. Until next time, remember, we don't live in darkness. Darkness lives in us.